thing we suggest is maybe check the volume. Also, we'd like to know uh, the final uh, gap spanner configuration that uh, Nick leaves it in. Roger. Um, that, Bob, did you copy that from her? Uh, I did uh, copy it, uh, Nick, and, and for Houston, uh, I've got the volumes. I keep uh, cranking them up here. Uh, I've got it up to, a, a, looks like, seven now, or six. And I think that's the max volume. And uh, I did hear Houston louder than I heard the, uh, the two of you, Steve and Nick. Okay, copy. If we need to, we'll uh, do relay com through Houston. And uh, for uh, for how, Steve, this gap span is um, in the config I found it in, which is 112 port on node 1 to 208 starboard on the lab, so it's running directly for us. Um, I would judge that it really makes no difference to tomorrow's tasks, but uh, obviously Bob's the final judge there. And the bag, thanks to that adjustment, is now, I think, nice and tight. Houston copies all, and we have good calm with all three. Okay, Nick. Nice work. Uh and uh, Steve, I'd like to go ahead and just uh, talk about what our final plan here is going to be. Um, I'd like to check that bag out um, to make sure that uh, we're good for tomorrow. And I Denver, would like Houston, to just pick up some of these Terry. gap spanner tapes. Um, and I'll take any words that you want to, or questions you have about the routing of these uh, avionics lines. Um, I think I've got them good and secured out of the, uh, the work area. Houston, any questions about Bob's uh, AVRX line? And uh, we'd just like to know which handrails he used to secure those avionic lines to. Okay, Steve, I will run through the, uh, the, uh, the list of them here. Handrail 671 and 672 uh, used to secure the 1-4 uh, bundle on the node 3 side. And then it's also secured our handrail 108 on the node 1 side. And, uh, there are two wire ties on handrail 672 to accomplish that. So a total of three just for the 1-4 channel. Copy. For the 2-3 uh, channel, 